one of the, the, the central arguments you make is that men have basically fallen off a cliff. Sorry. Give it, I read the book, and I, and I got to say it's hard to argue with, with the case you muster, at least on that question. Mm -hmm. Men are in trouble. Mm -hmm. Give us the kind of parameters of the disaster. So it starts as an economic argument. Men are just having a harder time adapting to the economy, and women yes. are adapting more easily. I can't tell you why. There's been different periods in history where men have adapted easily, but just to stay to this period in history. So it, then it's education and credentials. So the economy is fast changing. Who knows what it's going to throw at us? Women seem to be getting those skills and credentials at a much faster rate than men are, and they seem to be more nimble. And then that kind of filters down into our society. So in the book, I talk about how that changes marriage and our notions of fatherhood and what men can and can't do in families and when I touch you I feel happy inside it's such a feeling I'd say they're not losing status it's just changing I guess like the, the role of a man is not defined the same as it was you know however many years ago yeah I think so um, in women's quest for equality it seems that man has kind of lost his standard, so to speak. I wouldn't say that men are losing status. Um, no, I don't think they're losing status. I think that, uh, I mean, that I think there's room for women, like, to, to gain ground and uh, become more prominent members of society. As uh, I definitely think I'm losing a little power in society. Like, I think there's a really strong feminine culture coming out. Um, so I don't think men are losing status, I just think women are gaining status. I don't know if they're losing status, I just think women are gaining status. But education is the clearest argument. Uh, basically, w uh, girls do better than boys. Now they have equal SAT scores in math, and they do better in verbal scores. So it starts out kind of early in life. And I think that's largely a developmental question. Like, we demand a lot more of younger and younger children, and girls develop faster than boys. Right. And so, so for every two degrees that men get, women get three degrees. That Getting into college is more. Um, in fact, like most of like the college population is always going to be a woman. I think slowly, but I still think that we're still inferior to men. Um, I think that women are just kind of moving up to equal stance with men, and I think people forget that that's the definition of feminism, is that women want to be equal to men and not necessarily dominate them. I, I'm sure there are women like that out there. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say losing. I would say that it's becoming more of an equal equal playing field and equal ground, sure. but I guess for some men that might mean that they're not getting the, the positions that they might have had if women weren't having them. Okay. I think women are gaining status in society as opposed to like 50 years ago, but I don't think it's as quick of a progress as they'd like it to be. Yes, I believe women are gaining status in society now, but um, they're still not um, equal to men. And more opportunities are being made available to them. In the 50s, it would be very rare for me to be in an institution of this level. I would say so. I mean, there's more women <laughs> that are like rising to powerful statuses, like as far as government and corporations are concerned. So women have this funny combination of opening job opportunities, plus the sense that they're behind, like a sense that they really need to hustle, and yeah. that seems to create some drive where men feel like they were suddenly whacked in the head. Yes. You know, the life that was handed to them is now gone. They don't want to start at the bottom, so you have like growing numbers of men on disability roles, which is what happens in some European countries where right. you have unemployment and disability, and people give up after a certain Men are kind of under a, a specific pressure now. They have to watch what they say. There are certain social things that are acceptable, not acceptable. Um, men are starting to kind of, I guess, lose jobs in a lot of sense and lose respect in um, not only the workforce, but academically. The women are supposed to, in their strive for success, are pushing men down. So, Well, because the female role has taken a greater spot. I mean, people care more about their opinion. I did the news, and I nailed it. I nailed it. Wait, wait, Veronica. Please tell me this is some kind of sick 
tasteless joke is... You weren't here. Why are you being this way? Why can't you just be proud of me as a peer and as my gentleman lover? Oh, jeez. I can't believe you did this to me! You read my news! I told you that I wanted to be an anchor. I told you that. I thought you were kidding! I thought it was a joke! I even wrote it down in my diary! <laughs> Veronica had a very funny joke today! I laughed at it later that night! Over the course of, what, 40 years, you know, men's wages uh, kind of steadily stagnating and then declining, whereas women's wages are steadily increasing. Now, men on average still make more, but, but you see, you know, if you look at the charts, the trends are very much like this. You can't pull me out of this right now. Natasha. Barton's been compromised. Let me put you on hold. call themselves feminist and don't want to be in this position, it's kind of exciting. You're suddenly making a paycheck, you're learning new skills, you right. learn new things about yourself. That's easier than to ask of the guys to start from the bottom again or to sort of hustle. talk to in the book they they felt to me like immigrants like my own parents are immigrants like that immigrant drive that they have to get ahead is yes. part of this formula that seems to be moving meet Fran Zelenaska oh. in her home country of Romanovia dodgeball is the national sport and her nuclear power plant's team won the championship five years running. Which makes her the deadliest woman on earth with a dodgeball. Follow me, Blazer. Show them, friend. <laughs> Master's exchange up. 